Assalamu alaikum. Joining me is Zarka Nawaz, the creator of Little Mosque on the Prairie and uh, founder of the documentary Me and the Mosque. Zarka, tell me about yourself as well as Regina, Saskatchewan. Well, I grew up in Toronto and I lived there for most of my life until I got married to my husband Sami and then we came here to Regina, Saskatchewan and that's where I made the documentary Me and the Mosque and ultimately um, made the television show Little Mosque on the Prairie. Tell me about uh, growing up in Regina. Well, I didn't grow up here, but my kids have grown up here. I moved here when I had my first child, and it was you know, quite a difficult transition coming from Toronto, which was a big city, to a much smaller community. But what I valued a lot about Saskatchewan was that it was like seven degrees of separation. Like everyone knew everyone, and there was a very strong sense of community. And it wasn't a big city. You could get from one end to the other in five minutes. And so there wasn't that rush hour issue. And then you could be home within five minutes. So suddenly it was an easier place to have a family, have leisure time. Uh, to work on a career while having kids and I was able to combine both you know family and career and you know community service so it was this perfect balance that I found living here in Saskatchewan. What are some of your favorite things to do in Regina? Um, I love going to the bookstore I like visiting you know um, the independent boutiques I love shopping um, I like doing community service work especially with both Muslim and non-Muslim community work I think that as Muslims we have to volunteer not just within our community, but outside of our community and become known as vital, you know, people that are, you know, out there making Canada a better place. For sure. I understand that you recently wrote a book, um, Laughing All the Way to the Mosque. Tell me more about that. I wanted to, I finished the show and I had some time off and I wanted to do something different. And I was at this lecture and there were these two Muslims yelling at each other about Islam. And I thought, you know, there's so much misunderstanding about Islam in the world. It would be really interesting to write a book of intellectual essays. So I got together, you know, with my editor and you know, I wrote this book. And the editor was like, well, this is terrible. It's unpublishable. This isn't sort of the thing that, you know, you're good at. So then I went back and we wrote it and she said the same thing. And she goes, you know, you're good at comedy and you're good at story. Stick to that. So then I changed the book into a memoir type book, you know, with each chapter talking about a different aspect of my life and a different aspect of Islam written like a television show, very episodic, and it became much more readable. So um, the book was launched in June 26th of 2014, and it's been, been about three months, and it's doing well, and people are responding. They're saying it's funny, you know, it makes Islam accessible, it makes Muslims accessible in our community. And so it's like a window into sort of um, the world of a woman who, you know, was brought up in the West. Can you share a story from the book? Um, there's there's lots of great stories. I'm trying to think what do people respond to a lot. Hajj. People really, really responded to the Hajj chapter because it talks so much about how Hajj was about the journey of um, Hagar, and it was about a woman and how she, you know, was left in the desert alone, and how Allah empowers women in the Quran so much, and that we don't think about it that way. That 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 you know the reason millions of Muslims go to Hajj every year is to remember her story struggle of a woman who trusted God when she was left alone in the desert and goes up and says, well, God wants, and I put my trust in God. And so people found that really profound that, you know, why were, you know, a million Muslims going to Mecca every year? What was the purpose of Hajj? And then they realized it was to remember a woman's story and her struggle and her remembrance of God. So I thought that was, you know, a really great insight into um, Islam. That's amazing. Also, um, tonight was your Eid dinner for the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan Regina chapter where I saw that the women were very active. Tell me more about the uh, women's roles in this community. Well, you know, we have a very supportive board and they want more Muslim women to come forward and do activities in the community that are good for the wider community as well, for, as, well as for the women. So I think that's a great way of getting women to be empowered within the Muslim community and have a voice and to be able to speak. So we organize events like potlucks, well, not just potlucks, we'll invite politicians, you know, from the non-Muslim community to come in and see our community. And then we'll make the women the MCs and the women doing the... Um, you know, the presentations on Ramadan, and so they're in front and center. It's not always the men who should have those roles. You know, non-Muslims need to see that Muslim women are just as active, you know, and speaking and leading and giving lectures and talks as well as the men. So we make the women in charge of those events, and they all, not just behind the scenes, but in front of the scenes too. So, they, so we make sure that, that our girls and women are in the front of, of representing our community. That's amazing. One thing that I think every Canadian should uh, do is promote the uh, role of women in communities, and it's great that you're doing that as well as your community. Um, finally, do you have any messages for viewers? Well, I think that, you know, there's a lot of misunderstanding about Islam and Muslims, and what I would encourage people to do is, is make a Muslim friend, get to know a Muslim neighbor. You'd be surprised how open Muslims are to, you know, getting to know their friends and neighbors and to do productive events together. It's no use if we're always separate in our different, you know, communities. We need to sort of join together, work together, and get to know one another, and work together to make Canada a stronger country. 
Final question, when is The Little Mosque on the Prairie movie coming out? That's a good question. Uh, we, we don't know. Like I always ask the producers if that's going to be a thing, and they always say maybe, maybe. So I thought, you know, instead of waiting, I'll just keep going with other um, projects. That's why I wrote the book, Laughing All the Way to the Mosque, and I'm hoping to write a novel next and sort of expand my, into not just television, but into, you know, I wrote a memoir, and I would like to write my first comedic novel about a, a crazy Muslim woman, you know, who writes a book and runs into some problems because I've, you know, learned all about, you know, the publishing world. So I think that's the next project. That's great. Zarka, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum